What's up guys, welcome to the new Rockcom vlog. As you can see clearly, today is a very special day. It's a world premiere of a bike that was launched back in 2013 and it just got its first big upgrade. Let me show you what it is. The covers are off. Welcome on the streets and on the racetracks. The brand new KTM RC 390, brand new style, lots of new technology and a lot of new features. It definitely sets new standards in its category. And we're not the first impressions of the new RC 390. Looks beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Which part do you like the most? I like the style of it. This uh, side part looks uh -huh. amazing. These panels, yeah. okay. And look at this, come here. Uh, actually, this is a prototype bike, so it's like 95% like it should be. Just some parts are in, are in a silver color. Uh, so, for example, this uh, mount for the front mask and the uh, TFT display. And check this, it even has here, it says KTM R&D and says uh, which uh, stage of the development it is and a lot of uh, information so it's really cool to not just only have a brand new bike from the shop but it's still actually a prototype bike so it's <laughs> pretty exclusive what we have here so i feel special okay uh, let's go to the tft display let's see what it has the new ktm rc390 was upgraded with a tft color display where you can see now the speedometer the odometer you can see in which gear you are or in which riding mode you are. What I really like is now the RPM gauge in digital and you can see your fuel capacity and your temperature here. And on the left side you have your trip data and, your, and the clock. And then we go into settings where we can connect to the phone through the KTM My Ride, uh, where we can listen to the music or answer the phones. Then we have trip data, uh, general trip information such as fuel consumption, average speed and so on. Beside that we can go to motorcycle where we can adjust our riding aids such as dual channel ABS. Uh, we have cornering ABS, we can switch between road and supermoto. Then we have an optional quick shifter that we can switch on or off. Then settings, we have a lot of different settings where we can adjust display theme, shift light, clock and date, language, when is our next service and so on. So, Really nice feature and it was about time that we have a nice TFT display on the KTM RC. An obvious update of course is the styling and the bodywork. It's completely new and it has influence from the KTM RC60 MotoGP bike in aerodynamics, in colorways. Actually this orange blue color and you will be able to see it on the future KTM models. It's called the Atlantic Blue. I personally really like it. Each KTM RC model will come in two different colorways. And the next thing that sticks out is the front part of the bike. It has improved aerodynamics because the bike has more torque, means it can reach a higher speed and for that you need a better aerodynamics. Beside that, a very important upgrade for the daily use of the RC bike is actually the hot air. What happens with the hot air on the engine? This is actually an annoying thing when you ride a bike through the city and your legs are burning from the hot air and KTM also thought about this and made two separate side panels that changes the airflow so it doesn't heat up your leg that much. Let's talk about the engine, the power, the heart of the bike. It shares it with the KTM 390 Duke Euro 5 so it means it produces less emissions with a state-of-the-art single piston liquid cooled engine and not only that, it has also a 40% increase of airbox volume, produces more torque and who doesn't like more torque, right? Exactly said, 11 kilometers more top speed, not only because of the airbox, but of course also because of better aerodynamics. 
Let's come to the front part where a lot has been changed, such as the front light, completely redesigned LED technology. Then it has integrated turn signal lights, which my opinion really fits to the race lines of the whole bike. And then also upgraded is the tail light with new design. The tank has increased fuel capacity from 9.5 to 13.7 liters. More fuel means more riding and less stopping. New mirrors that can do that. The new seat is now way more comfortable than before. It has a nice new material that provides more grip in the wet conditions. Super soft. Also the pillion seat is upgraded. It has more foam which means more comfort for the passenger. And both have a new style upgrade and it looks way more racy. One of the things that I noticed in the past test days is how light this bike feels, especially in the corners. KTM managed to drastically drop the weight of this bike by redesigning the passenger footrest, rider footrest and reducing mass where it counts. 4 kgs on both wheels together, less rotational mass, which we all know means better riding characteristics. For me, that means faster around the track and around the twisties. Boom! Man, this new brakes works wonder, man. I was right when we saw the prototype picture of the new RC that the front disc looks completely different and as we can see it is like it was on the prototype. So it's redesigned, it's 800 grams lighter and this is an important 800 grams because it's rotational mass again so it means we can move quicker through the corners and it gives me a really nice uh, brake feel with the four piston brake caliper radial on the front and also on the rear we have a redesigned brake disc 160 grams lighter again 230 millimeters and both brakes work perfectly as you can clearly see on my stop piece and high speed braking this bike also shows its race potential with the next upgraded feature it has adjustable triple clamps you can adjust them 10 millimeters on the height and you can adjust them on your preferred riding position so backwards or forwards just in case if you wonder how it is to film in full leather suit in the middle of summer with no shadow exactly like this <sighs> sweating all over the place okay let's go to the next feature the frame got also an upgrade now it has a bolt-on subframe which comes in handy in case of a crash so you don't need to change the whole frame but just the part that has been bent so it's way cheaper of course and the rc has another weight saving 1.5 kg boom another sick update on the rc is the new suspension now we have adjustable suspension 30 clicks on the rebound 30 clicks on the compression it's separate so one leg is compression another one is rebound also the rear vp apex shock absorber is now upgraded you can adjust it in five clicks for rebound and also the preload and this combination of the new front and rear suspension makes my opinion the bike completely on another level i can feel and be in the corner way more stable than with the predecessor i can adjust it to my riding needs my riding style so the corners are now for me way faster and i feel way more comfortable in them okay renato i think we are done for today you did a lot of wheelies and stoppies but where are the drifts man <laughs> the drift <laughs> you still want to see some more tricks yep and... let's do it okay uh let me see because i have a super grippy avon tire so i don't know if it's gonna work but you know we let's will never do know if you don't try it right <laughs> yep let's go <laughs>
Wow. Yeah, they are too grippy. So it's not a really right setup for doing drifts with the RC because those are race stars. They are meant to have a lot of grip. So next time I'll do more drifts with the RC. So Renato, you win this time. I did some drifts, but they weren't proper drifts. I like to do them. So guys, I would say this is our RC review. I freaking love that bike. I'm so happy after eight years that this bike is finally out, completely new, a lot of new uh, features, a lot of new upgrades. So we couldn't actually put all the features in this vlog. So if you want to see a really deep review of that bike, you can find a link in the description below. And let us know in the comments below what should we do with that bike next time or should be some riding or, or more of a review or build-offs or just let us some ideas below. We're gonna read them and we're gonna do a vlog based on that. So guys, thanks for watching and see you next time. Until then, rock on. Stitch together. <laughs>